<laughs> did you make something? <laughs> I did. She's trying to be very discreet. Yes. Stick to my boot. My <laughs> All right, so why don't you tell them what you've got on? Are we live? We are live. Oh, yes. So I stayed for open sew on Tuesday knowing I wanted to embroider this, and I'd never embroidered on a, a sweatshirt or any kind of clothing. So yeah. I got the file from Linda, and I just wanted it to be kind of understated. So it's just a, a mauve pink on a mauve jacket and I got a hoop sisters and then I posted it on the hoop sisters site and we started a little something yeah it kind of exploded in case you can't see it so she I has can't see it the little well let me make her bigger hold on there. let's make her bigger let's make us bigger gal there you go that's her mm -hmm. little hoop sisters logo she put on yeah. her shirt and you were cute you were all nervous about it. I was it. so nervous. It was so easy. But I had a lot of help. It was yeah. help. It was fun. It was fun. We uh we have a good group. We've mentioned that before. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right. So we'll get started. Um, so yes, we have our bucket bag class and it's filling up very nicely. I don't think I this was last week. The slide is from oh. last week. Who knows? I hope it's not full. If it is, we got room. We can bring more people yep, in. Yep, yep. But it's a great embroidery sewing machine project. The first day of class, we're going to embroider the files. And then there's a little homework to finish them at home if you don't finish them in the class, which you probably, depending on how much you buckle down, you could. And then we'll put it together in the, the last two classes. It's going to be on Sundays from 1.30 to 4.30. So it's kind of fun because it's like, we're not really working, but we're we're sewing, so right. we don't have the all the other stuff to. Oh right, we're not running across the classroom. Right, which right. We'll probably end up doing. That. Yeah, probably. So good morning, Christine. Good morning, Deb, and Facebook user, whoever you are. <laughs> so this is the first time. If anyone's watching us on YouTube, I sent out a video or not a video. I sent an email out yesterday with a link to our YouTube channel because we're now streaming this on YouTube as well. So if you're watching on YouTube, let me know. I would be curious to know if I did it right, right. first of all, right. and then right. if anyone's looking at it. So we'll see. Okay, so <laughs> my friend Linda Mullally and our very good customer who comes here all the time, and she even goes to your store too, Kelly. Mm -hmm. She sent me this picture on the left here of a laundry basket and a big pile of four inch i think they're four inch squares yeah. and i don't know she posted this sample this adorable thing that she made on our facebook page and i was wondering what you guys would do with these so she actually came in and bought an hd um nine the be the black one the big bad black one yeah this thing can power through anything mm -hmm. Um, because she wanted to make this rug <laughs> and she makes a lot of bags and everything as well. Um, it's been on her wish list for a while. It has, but what she made was this adorable, like a throw rug. Mm -hmm. And I, it's pretty big. Mm -hmm. She said it was too heavy to bring in <laughs> oh <my laughs> and she made a, a sizable uh, dent in her scraps. So, right. so that's nice. Nice. A lot of times when you do these scrap kind of projects, you hardly make a dent. Well, she she did pretty good with them. So, oh, uh, Barbara K KB is watching on YouTube. Awesome. Great. Hello. We got one person watching us on YouTube. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So Linda purchased the uh, HD9BE, the black one. Um, it's on sale the rest of this month for $2,099. And it's coming with this leather kit, which is the bonus bundle. So... She loved it. She said that thing just powered right through it. Then our demo and a stack snack night is going to be April 19th, 645. The doors open. I'll have fresh popcorn already made up. We'll have some type of chocolate snack, of course. <laughs> and this month we're going to be demoing embroidery tips and tricks because we have a lot of embroidery owners in with new machines, CM17s, 500, 550Es, things like that, that, that 
don't know the little secret things that we all know when you've had it forever and ever. You mean like what kind of stabilizer well, to well, work, use? That and like bringing in multiple <laughs> designs and moving them around and finding your colors. There's a lot of fun little things that you can do to make your embroidery go smoother. So um, that's what we'll be doing this month or next month. This is you. Yeah. Yeah. This is your Saturdays with Gales. <laughs> um, and we have one spot left. One spot left. Is, so, let me tell wow. them, show the dates and then I'll make you larger so uh, they can the see. The 20th and the 27th. It's two Saturdays in a row, 1.30 mm -hmm. to 4, I believe. And um, 1 30 to 3 30. Oh, 1 30 yep. to 3 30. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, and it'll be four by the time you're done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to piece on the first week. And then the second week, you're going to um, quilt and then bind. And we should do pretty well with that timeline. And um, so I already picked out fabrics for my class sample. It's going to be a little bit more uh, just summery and maybe even late summery fall. So yeah. um, the because package. Because the star lends itself to different Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a Halloween picture and a Christmas one in the pattern. And okay. uh, it was just fun to make a little bit unusual piecing because it's stripes, it's not blocks. And, uh, but it's really fun. And we have one spot left. Cool. All nice. Right. Then, um, we'll mention again our two-day CM17 event with Ann Hine from Janome. She's their embroidery and software specialist. She's coming May 9th and May 10th for a hands-on for the CM17. So if you're interested in seeing what that machine does, um, we have room for people that don't own it. And there's a little bit of room left for people that do own it. So because I've got a limited amount of space, so I'm trying to divide the two up. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun and we're very excited to have her in the store. She's never been here before, but I've known her forever. And so, um, and she's, oh, she's just very knowledgeable, okay. very knowledgeable. And very the cool. third day is May 11th, which is a Saturday. And that's all about the Janome app. So she will be talking about the free apps that you use on the iPads and also artistic digitizer. Mm -hmm. And so you can sign up for that as well. And it's Kelly, you got some visitors coming from Janome next week. I do. Yeah. Next Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. John, Rennes. the president of Janome is coming. And the CEO. That should be fun. And wow. the CEO. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They come around when there's a new CEO, they come around and visit their dealer. So oh, there's a new CEO. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're, we're excited that he's coming to see you. Um, and John, and John's been with Janome forever. He, mm -hmm. I knew John when he was in the service department, and now he's the president. Wow, that's how old that's, I am. That's, that's, that's awesome. That's a great story. That's a great story. Yeah. Okay. Um, then Janome still has their uh, offer for the CM17 at $12,999 with a qualified trade. And if you'd like to also partake in the Husky table that we showed a few weeks ago, that's available as well. And they also have the special um, thousand dollar bundle where you get like a list and you can like pick some accessories to go with mm -hmm. the machine. And when we have our CM17 event, I can guarantee you we will have equally, if not better, offers. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then we have our June door banner. So I'm going to bring up Miss Gail. It's actually behind us right yeah. now. But okay. I'm going to bring up her video. We're working on June's door banner of the month, the Riley Blake program that we're taking part in today. And this is June. Let me give <laughs> it the other way. It's uh, popsicles and ice cream cones and sunshine. And the colors are stunning. I think the color combination is great. And um, it was, I would say a little bit more challenging in regards to piecing because there's a lot of little, little pieces but the directions and the pattern are amazing. Great pictures, great
great directions. Uh, so it came together pretty quickly. And just like the other ones, the pattern is written so nicely that you only have to make three ice cream cones, uh, uh, th one of each color or two of each color of the popsicles and three suns. So it, it's very easy to kind of break up and do in little chunks too. So um, I quilted it in just a simple, I think it's one and a quarter inch grid, just like the box. And uh, it's a little bit easier to see on the back. Um, and it was, it took me under an hour to quilt the whole thing. So it's worth it, people. <laughs> people. <laughs> they know who I'm talking to. <laughs> so uh, once again, the written directions are very helpful. The first thing, the cutting is uh, super simple, very organized. I did take notes if you want any specific information on cutting. I did take notes on what I did to make it a little bit uh, simpler or less uh, wasteful of fabric. Plenty of fabric. I made a couple of mistakes, um, but the cutting, it, it wasn't the directions. It was me. Hmm. So uh, the hardest part in the cutting was to decide which one was lemon zest and which one is Riley yellow. So it, there's both, they're both the same size. And I just took it to a nice light like this, kind of showed it next to what they were showing. They show the pictures of the uh, little strip of color. And then I guessed. <laughs> and then I matter it really doesn't, it doesn't. does it no mm -mm. so it's just the inside of the inside or outside of the popsicle and you do one of each so it really doesn't matter <laughs> can i have a question yeah the sun is that all one of the yellows or is there two there's yellows? three there's three yellows in the box one of them is paparazzi oh. so what there's a different um set so there's two with the yellow and then the with the oh. paparazzi and then the uh different the solid yellows as the points. And then the one solid yellow middle has the dotted points and one solid, the opposite okay. solid. So, so that's that. So that was, that was the hardest part, but it was really no big deal. In regard to piecing, uh, there's still, I, I did my same thing. Uh, I had all of my pieces labeled and pinned together and on a design board. So, I knew what I needed at the time of sewing the blocks together. And they're not really blocks, they're like you make you make the popsicles, you make the suns, you make the ice cream cones. So they're they're pieces. They're not really they're not square, they're rectangles. Okay. The hardest part uh piecing that i came up with was the tips of the ice cream cones read those directions twice and practice there's some marking that you have to do and you're actually crossing over uh from one half of the box or the little piece to the other and it seems unnatural or unusual uh, but it's correct i did it wrong the first time um, the good news is you just rip it out and, and move it over. So you're not marking. You just have to mark and you have to read. I've read it twice and finally got it right. <laughs> so not the first time. <laughs> The other part that I needed to read twice before I did a step were the popsicle sticks. So some of them are tell you to sew a double and some a single, and I think I sewed the doubles on the wrong color. It would be a good time for you to decide to design your own door <laughs> banner, uh, which would be fine. But I wanted it to look like the box, so I had to redo just a couple of, of uh, different popsicle sticks. So. Uh, not difficult, just a little finicky. That's all. Thank you. Okay, so Gail and I were dancing. You, did you like my music? You were jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so that's our June door banner. And how much is that again? Forty three, forty ninety five, forty three ninety five. Great. Okay, and then Sue. Sue's actually on vacation this week, but before she left, she whipped out this adorable sample. Um, mm -hmm. and this is from the Old Glory line from Moda, and she used a Villa Rosa two dollar pattern. So it just turned out great. Mimi mm -hmm. got it quilted. If you yeah. could show that. Oh, that's right, because this didn't work last year. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. Let me do this. There we go. Is that good? There it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually pretty big. It's uh, 53 by 68. Perfect. And it requires eight fat quarters. And uh, the border was a yard and a half. And then you need a little bit of fabric for this bigger piece for the center. So um, it's very, very cute. So. Um, Sue, you have to come back because it needs binding. And <laughs> I think the reason that we got the pattern was because bar barn stars are so popular. Yeah. And this yeah. is a nice, it fairly is. simple pieced one. Oh, yeah. Those Villa Rosas are great. Okay. Then we have a whole bunch of um, new pouches to show you. Well, we got two brand new ones and we've got one that we've had. The patterns are all $10. The kits vary in price. So this one's called Tiny Tiles. Oh, let me let me do this. We'll just show you in person. Um, this is Tiny Tiles Ooh. and the pattern. the pattern. So, and then we have the kit. And the kit will include your um, charms, your fat quarters, your interfacing, your zipper, every your lining, everything you need to make it. This kit is $12 for Tiny Tiles. The and patterns it's, are all 10. The patterns are all 10. So that's a cute one. Mm -hmm. And then we've had this one, but we haven't shown it in a long time. This is a cute little summery one. This has got um, like the foam stabilizer in it. It's got kind of wonky piecing, which is cute. And Mimi quilted it with decorative stitches. Kind of like tumbler blocks. Yeah. Almost. And that's mm -hmm. called Candy Twist. Candy Twist Pouch. And that kit comes with your foam stabilizer, your zipper, your lining, everything you need for the mm -hmm. outside. So it's, you can sit down and stitch it. And this is a brand new one that um, our fun customer, Jennifer, <laughs> was in one day. And she saw these on our website, but we didn't have the patterns out yet. So she asked me about them. And I said, we, we haven't made the kit yet. And Kelly, you've got these kits coming to you today. We've got a few nice. for okay. you and the pattern. And that's the cork bottom pencil pouch. This also has the foam stabilizer. It's got some really pretty... Um, batiks and it's got the cork. So Kelly supplied the cork for us. So she'll be getting some of these as well um, down in Carpentersville. So the kit comes with the zipper, the lining, everything you need. You can just sit the down foam. the foam. All you need to do is add some thread. And uh, some of the kits have this pretty teal oh, yeah. and some have the metallic. Yeah. Cork. Kelly supplied us with, there's a brown, there's a cork with metallic, and I think there's a plain cork as well. <laughs> Brown yeah. is beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. And they go with these. They all they go all with these go. little fabrics. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. very. So I think the whole idea of all the pouches is that they're mini charm pack friendly, right? It, they, it's so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or in fat mm -hmm. quarter. So mm -hmm. that works out good. Okay. Have you guys thought about doing the iron on vinyl to make them cosmetic bags? On That's the inside. a clever idea. Inside. I have the iron on vinyl here. Oh, inside. Oh, yeah. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> we, do we got it too. Oh, that's oh, a good cool. One. Maybe we don't next have month. iron on now, do we? Yeah. We do? Yeah, because oh. I used it on my placemats. Cool. cool. And oh. Mimi, Mimi just used it on a bag. Good morning, Sue Houston. Did you hear that I said you have to come back so that you can do the, the binding on your quilt? Did you hear that, Sue? <laughs> <laughs> Is she really gone if she's on Facebook? Uh, no, well, not. she's not really gone. No, she's just there. So <laughs> open sew is Tuesday at 530. The next one is, oh, we've already had that one. April 2nd. This is my slides from last week. Oh, when we right. couldn't do anything. Right. So, um, yeah, April 2nd and April 16th, 530 to 830. And you should come because you don't know what Gail's going to do next. <laughs> <laughs> My Janome Quilt Maker Pro Night, we're going to be working on cropping different things and using the trim blocks. So 
if you see that that kind of thing that looks like it's going in, that's called the trim block. So you can put that with applique in the middle or embroidery or something like that. So we're going to be working with those. So that'll be fun. That'll be Tuesday, April 23rd mm -hmm. at 6 o'clock. And Sue says she missed that cold morning too cold for fishing. Yeah, well, you know, yep, that's true. Okay, I think I am done. So we will add Kelly. Okay. All right. Uh, Thursday, April 11th, um, Martha is going to be doing a scarlet bag from 10 to 2.30. The cost is $40. Um, you can use beautiful cottons, um, and then it has the cork or vinyl strap and the flap over it and the tassel. So um, she only has two people signed up. So there's five spots left. She would love to teach this class. So sign up. Um, she's in Florida right now, I believe and she'll be back next week. So hopefully um, we'll have some more signups for her. There is a magnetic snap also to hold that flap over. Um, and it's more like a boho bag. It's very um, loose, very nice. I have a sample in the store if you'd like to stop by and actually touch it. Um, sometimes you just kind of need to see the size. Pictures don't always do things justice. Um, Open sews. I have one next Thursday, April 4th, um, and then Monday, April 22nd from 10 to 2. Um, I don't have anybody signed up for the April 4th yet. I just set them. And then April 22nd, I have one person uh, signed up. So hopefully you'll join us and get caught up on your projects or do some cute little embroidery. Um, I know Maria. Um, is watching will um, uh, come and she came yesterday to an open sew and she got all of her Kimberbell um, fabric pre-cut out for the class in May. Yay. So, yeah, she's on it. All right. Um, artistic digitizer class. Um, this month we are in April. We will be learning um, fill stitches, outline stitches, and resize and reordering. So we're catching flowers in our umbrella. Mm -hmm. So that is April 15th. The video link will be sent to your email um, if you sign up for the class. Um, keep in mind, this is artistic digitizer, not the MBX digitizer. I've had a couple people sign up and they don't own artistic digitizer. Um, Anne is also going to talk about it in May when she comes and she is a fun nominal digitizer. Um, but if you um, bought the artistic digitizer from us, the class is free. If you didn't, you can call Carpentersville or Woodstock and sign up over the phone and we will um, sign you up for $15. Uh, I am doing a class on Kimberbell Clear Blue Tiles. Um, I've taught it two other times throughout the years. Um, so if you need a refresher or if you have just bought the clear blue tiles, I just sold some recently. Um, it is going to be Thursdays, April 18th and 25th from 10 to 1. Um, cost is $35 plus your fabric supplies and batting. The first class will make this tree and house hoop um, in the bl block by block method. So the batting is not in your seam allowances. In the second class, we'll be using the edge to edge part with the clear blue tiles and you can make um, fabric to make anything or if you just want a plain um, table topper. Um, my mom has a bench and she likes these just plain on the bench to uh, by the front door. So uh, Kathy is doing the payday um, wallet and purse on Fridays, April 19th and 26th from 10 to 1. The cost is $40 plus supplies. Um, she is very excited about this. Um, it's just right up her alley of purse making, but then it's also a really cool size. 
So if you are interested, I do have a sample here in the store that you can come and look at and touch and see if that would work for you. Um, I still have patterns. So if you are interested, stop by. Kathy is also teaching signs of autumn. There is a um, monthly class that she's doing and she's never taught the um, corner beam. So she was had this pattern picked out before she started that. And so now she's gonna do that May 17th, 10 to one. Cost is $25 and you're learning the corner beam tool. So if you're not doing her um, monthly class, or if you want a little more practice, the corner beam tool is a very cool. It is the points on the tips of the leaves and you could do a table runner or you could do the quilt. It's also reiterating the flying geese um, tool. So if you are interested, um, Janome's coming. So we're doing some spring cleaning. <laughs> and so we still have some sulky stable are left at, <clears throat> excuse me, 50% off. The Madeira Neon Poly is buy two, get one free. I have some Dakota embroidery CDs still for that were regular $49.95 and they're on sale for $15. And I have quite a few different styles, um, probably 50 different types of CDs. Then, um, Wayne just took in a baby lock Imagine serger. It is a jet air serger. It's normal MSRP was $17.99. He is getting putting it on sale for $5.99. So that is a very easy serger to use. It has a A, B, C, D um, stitch dial that adjusts your tensions for you. Um, it is a very nice serger. So if you like to see that come in, I would be happy to show you that. We also took in a TS200Q Janome machine. Um, we're not allowed to tell sale prices on our Janome machines, but its MSRP was $999. So um, if you are interested in a really nice, it's kind of equivalent to the 4120, only it has a few more stitches. Um, and then we have a other straight stitch machine works great. Um, and Dwayne is uh, selling that for a really good deal also. And then I do still have some fabric, uh, buy a yard, get a yard off the same bolt free. So we are trying to clean up and make our store very pretty for the Janome people. So, And also oh, make room for new fabric. Oh yeah, I have a bunch of new fabric yes. coming i yeah. ordered back in september cool <laughs> it's coming okay. yeah so we'll say good morning again to christine and deb rath and barbara on youtube and hi maria <clears throat> and sandy Dazal and laura partridge sue houston and a couple of facebook users so thanks for joining us and Laura says uh happy early easter happy so easter. i agree happy easter everybody yes, happy easter um, It'll be, it'll be a fun family holiday. So thanks, Kelly. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye.